After grossing 163 million naira in the box office, Living in Bondage Breaking Free is coming back to cinemas for a limited 3 day release. And this, as awesome as it is for some people who didn't get to watch it during its original theatrical run, we can't help but scratch our head for what's behind this move. The news was announced by Charles of Play, the movie's executive producer, on February 22, 2020. According to him, the 2019 blockbuster sequel will be back for a limited theatrical release for three days next month. He said, Ask and you shall receive. A limited three days only release for people who didn't see Living in Bondage and for those who want to see it again. Save the date, three days in cinemas nationwide. Even though Charles of Play said he was doing it for people who didn't see it and because they asked for it and also for people who want to see it again, we here think there's more to it than just having the interest of people at heart. Come on, Yusuf, check out now. Well, here are all the reasons why we think Living in Bondage Breaking Free is coming back to cinemas. The more the merrier. It's no secret that Living in Bondage Breaking Free was one of the biggest movies of 2019, going on to gross over 163 million naira in West Africa. But for a movie with all that magnitude, all that social and generational hype, it still wasn't among the top 3 highest grossing movies of last year. Yep. It comes in at number 4 after Sugar Rush, Merry Men Another Mission and Your Excellency. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Your Excellency for that matter. <laughs> and it sits as the 11th highest grossing Nollywood movie of all time, which is kind of impressive. So that makes us wonder if they're doing it as Marvel recently did with Avengers Endgame, yeah, you know, or how James Cameron did it with Titanic with the 3D and all that, mm -hmm. just to add more money to their plate. Well, who knows, they won't tell us even if we ask. Moving on! And the award goes to... Being widely recognized for your work is definitely a sweet feeling, but being recognized multiple times for multiple categories is even more sweeter and this is where the makers of Living in Bondage can raise their shoulders with padded pride as they got nominated for 11 AMBCAs including Best Actor for Swanky, Best Director for Ram Sinua and Steve Gukas and even overall Best Movie West Africa. So maybe this is a way for them to solicit for votes and recognition by reminding people that Hey, this is our movie trial, make one and no forget us. The re-release is happening in March and yep, as you guessed, the AMVCA is also happening in March, March 14 to be exact. So here's to hoping they win all they deserve. Charles of Play also said that the movie will be available on streaming platforms, maybe Netflix, who knows, and that will happen very soon promising those in the abroad. So what do you think? Why is Living in Bondage Breaking Free really coming back to cinemas? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Popcorn and Reels, hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we drop a new video and also check out our review on Living in Bondage Breaking Free and others alike and we'll see you on the next one.